I'm also the event director. Hi, Natalie. Hi. <laughs> You'll see me currently living in this room or in the atrium or elsewhere. I don't know where I live sometimes these weekends. Anyways, we wanted to welcome you guys to our third year finally. Oh my gosh, it's already here. And I'd like to introduce you to the guy who started it all, our convention chair, Mark Chang. Can we get a well, big round of applause? Like, and sizes, hello! Hi. Welcome to Con Bravo 2012, and what a show we have prepared for you this year. Yeah. Is everyone prepared to be awesome this weekend? Woo! Is everyone prepared to party this weekend? Yeah. Bring on the booze! So let's get the show on the road. First, I would like to introduce some of our guests of honor, and Boy, are there a lot of them this year. Um, several of which who haven't arrived yet, so we're kind of going to go down the list and uh, let last year see who's here. <laughs> so, um, I would like to start uh, by wishing James Rolfe a very warm Canadian welcome. He's not here yet. <laughs> he is on his way. He will be on site tonight. So I would like, in spirit, to give him a warm welcome as our guest of honor. Everyone's favorite ruiner of childhood memories, Doug Walker, the nostalgia critic. Tim Horton's confectionery goodness. Who's got the Tim bits for me? I got Note, by the way, that uh, this shirt is actually a mistake. It's Han shouldn't do, Han didn't shoot first. He is the only one who shot. <laughs> I feel like I'm a game show host with these lights, you know. <laughs> Come on, yeah. Answer my questions. No, anyway, I'm sorry. Right now, so glad to be doctor. here. Uh, sorry, what? Yeah. <laughs> glad to be here because uh, I had so much fun last time, although uh, I just got back from Ireland like two days ago. I'm so jet-lagged, I don't know what year it is. <laughs> I am so sorry That's about just that. the news. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, I, won't, I won't take up too much of your time. I just want to say I'm so happy to be here. I got all sorts of panels, so uh, then you can ask me, I, I, I know what the first question is going to be. Oh. Yeah, you know. <laughs> but uh, I've got an answer, so I'll tell you. What's your favorite color? Uh, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Thank you. Armed with only a fedora and a hatred of all things Rob Liefeld, <laughs> may I introduce <laughs> Louis Slinkaro Lava. <laughs> Oh, wait. <laughs> Greetings, my 
friends. We are all interested in the future, for that is where you and I are going to spend the rest of our lives. And speaking of the future, in the future next two days, you can expect to see at 11 o'clock tonight a panel with Tom, he is an evil genius white, where we will audition for the worst movie ever made. Tomorrow we have the Atop the Fourth Wall live show, as well as a signing yes. in the morning. Uh, and on Sunday, a special sneak preview, and by preview I mean the entire episode, the 200th episode of Atop the Fourth Wall! <laughs> No, I got other stuff, but otherwise, thank you! <laughs> thank you, Lewis. Okay, so people who aren't here, but we're going to say hello to anyway in the list, uh, we'll be strapping her to a chair for a 24-hour consecutive back-to-back -back showing of Battlefield Earth. The nostalgic <laughs> Lindsay Ellis will be here later. <laughs> A man whose identity is a mystery and whose taste in music is, sub in, is sublime. Todd in the Shadows, Nathanson. He will be here later. A man who is here and passed out. With a voice deep and sultry, the man was made for radio. This week in Geek's very own Mike the Birdman Dodd. This is on, right? Okay. Yeah, it doesn't it's got sound a like it. Dull side. <laughs> and a man most talented with a guitar and eight bits of power, Arm Cannon's very Woo! own Danimal Cannon. Yeah! Um, also passed out at the moment from a very long <laughs> road trip uh, would be Capcom's official Mega Man remixer Mega Ran and his partner in crime DJ DN3. So let's give him a hand. As well as uh, Tom White from Weird Reviews, also known he is, as he is an evil genius. What? Yeah! Yes. <laughs> and uh, Peter Chimera, who. Um, Peter, are you here? Uh, Peter's passed out in his hotel room, but he sent me a text. Um, Soru, I can't bid at opening ceremonies, but who am slepping hard, but tell you guys thanks for being me guest at the Conbrado. Thank you, Peter. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Uh, of our cosplay guests who are here, I would like to welcome the god of cardboard, Featherweight. <laughs> the one insane evil genius who has yet to take over anything successfully, but God bless him for trying, <laughs> Dr. Holocaust. <laughs> People who I don't know why we keep inviting them back year after year because it always ends up with somebody taking We're off their cheap. pants. <laughs> They're cheap, you heard it here first. <laughs> the 404s. Okay, also more people who are not here, or if they are, somebody throw something at me because I can't see. <laughs> Uh, please give a warm wish you were here welcome to Don Kaijugel McKechnie and Moral Sarcasm Hime Agnarian, who will be your cosplay judges for the masquerade, among many other panels and workshops. <laughs> My Shuri and Kudrell, who will also be here uh, representing the cosplay community of Toronto. And uh, as well as one of our uh, new media guests, Joey DeSena, also known as Rue from 16-Bit Gems on Clan of the Grey Wolf, who has not yet arrived, but is en route, and is one more person arriving way too late for opening ceremonies. <laughs> Derek the Bard, who refuses to take off his hat, except for the ladies. Greg 
Epic, who isn't here yet, but he is the man who is responsible for the revival of that horrible series, Cheetah Men. <laughs> There's somebody fist bumping in the back real hard. <laughs> I see you in the hat. Where was I? <clears throat> the musical man with no vowels in his name, unless you consider Y1 Skrifnik. <laughs> And the wonderful Katie Shanahan, who is the author of Silly Kingdom and designed much of the art you see on our passes and other promotional materials. I think she's setting up right now. Is she in the room? No? Okay. Well. As well, we have two very surprise guests. Some of you probably know they're coming, but uh, they're not here yet. They're driving up with uh, Nostalgia Chick and Todd. And uh, those will be Pa Dugan and Maven of the Eventide. <laughs> Don't quote me, but I think that's everyone. Uh -huh. Oh, Mega Rand is coming. Okay, so he's, he's coming on down, so we're going to give him another round of applause once he gets here. Uh, that will be Capcom's official remixer for Mega Man. Okay, um, now, as is custom, it's time for the chairman's address. The one event where I get to use a microphone for myself, for my own personal time, and nobody punches me for doing so. <laughs> no problem. My vice chair, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to take this time, cheesy as it may sound, to say a few words about love love of craft, love of genre, love online, and love of people. Conventions are about gathering with like-minded people to share in what you love. If you're like me, conventions were the first place, or one of the first places, you felt like you weren't being judged for existing as a very strangely dressed anomaly of our species. <laughs> conventions gave you friends who gave a damn about Diablo and Sailor Moon more than they gave a damn about fashion and cars. Conventions are where you could party on your terms and not get beer poured on you by the football team. Yeah, yeah I was short and awkward as a kid in high school. Want to fight? <laughs> People like you are what make these gatherings great. You don't cut down a person because they don't wear brand names, and you help people when they're down. People like you brought people like me out of my shell and help me stand on my own two feet. And if we can do one thing this weekend, let's provide that for each other and grow stronger as a community. This is Con Bravo 2012, and for all of you, may it feel like home. faster than I think. Uh, I could stall for time. Um, a joke! Take your shirt off! Hold on. Some of you are in what you want, and some of you are Nothing like that. Yeah. Take it all away. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to briefly talk about this weekend and what is uh, likely going to be the uh, regular routine of the convention. So we are much bigger this year than, uh, than we anticipated. <laughs> we'll see how the weekend goes. There's people uh, queuing for registration. It was pretty quiet around 3 and then it started picking up. So, um... What, is, what has happened is, last year, we got 1,200 people. Pretty good. That was based on 67 people pre-reaching. Just want to put that out there. 576 of you pre-reached this year. I don't know what that does to estimates, but I'm scared. Someone pass it out. 
should. <laughs> now, um, we do our best to make sure that everyone gets into whatever they want to see. And I post this online if any of you are on the Facebook group, and I post it around the internets. Uh, I think I actually did a vlog about this. But generally, we do ask, be polite to other con-goers con and respect the rules. We will have first person line signs, next person, and last person line signs to help everyone get into panels properly. But we can't guarantee that you'll get into everything you want just because of the sheer volume this year. If it goes the way that we think it is, uh, and uh, indeed we outgrow this, which um, but looking at this room already is uh, fairly good proof of this. Yeah, hello. <laughs> um, we will probably be moving to a much larger venue next year, but that will be called at the closing ceremonies. So, something to look forward to. Um, so generally, if you want to get in line for something, my advice this weekend is get there early. Uh, and please do respect the volunteers. They are there to make your time more enjoyable, make the lines less of a hassle, and occasionally they might yell at you, but that's only because they've been yelled at a little too much. So please forgive them, and volunteers, I've always been taught to forgive you. So let's all be nice to each other. We will have uh, two kinds of uh, people working the show when uh, you walk around. You'll see us all mostly in blue shirts. Some of us will have black on when they work the stage. And you can tell the difference between staff and volunteers by what's on their back, as well as the staff have a color badge, and the volunteers have a white exclamation point bang out. Uh, volunteers also have the patrol, and if you are in need of help, the patrol will help you. They are going to be marked out by having red on their shoulders, and that uh, they don't have them marked off yet because the person who's actually badging those hasn't shown up yet. <laughs> but when in doubt, grab a volunteer, grab a staff member, we will be able to help you get where you're going and make the weekend more enjoyable for everyone. I'm really trying to stretch time here so Rand can get down. Uh, <laughs> Sing. Are we How was your day? Sing a song. Woo! Woo! Yeah, you know, okay. Special events. Irina. Okay. We're going to talk about special events, and I'm going to get away from the podium because I talk better when I'm walking anyway. Thank you, Heather. Oh, they even clipped it. Okay. Okay, some of the events that we are going to have this weekend. We are going to start a very interesting experiment that's been done at other conventions called D20 Live, and this one is the Lords of the Internet Edition. This is going to be a live session of D20 role-playing, hosted by Mike, Big Mike of the 404s, who's over here in the Superman shirt. Um, I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe... So good. Okay. Uh, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that it's Noah, Lewis, uh, Mike Dodd and Joey DeSena, who are not here yet, but will be shortly, I hope. And they will be um, attempting to... Huh? Yes? Good. I'm correct. <laughs> I'm right for once. <laughs> uh, they, they will be playing an interesting uh, little game with each other, trying to one-up each other, get get fat loots, and uh, <laughs> it's, it's always not a good sign when the GM laughs. <laughs> oh, and uh, of course, right after this is the music show, and one of our performers just showed up. Don't you dare sit down, Mega Ran. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mega Ran. Well, I'm very happy to be here. My first ever show in Canada, and I guarantee we're going to rock your socks off. Uh, are you not wearing socks? Is that what you said? <laughs> Might want to find some. <laughs> But yeah, we're looking. I'm looking forward to having a great time with you guys. 
Um, if you haven't experienced anything or know nothing about what I do, it's an even better reason to show up and be completely surprised. It's like a roller coaster full of ups and downs, and then you throw up at the end. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> What's your opinion on Legends 3? What's that? What's your opinion on Legends 3? It's a really, really soft, sore spot for me. I don't want to discuss that. <laughs> Thank you for ruining my day. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, as you can tell by my name, I love Mega Man, so uh, I do Mega Man influenced uh, chiptune, hip hop, rap, uh, dance, drum and bass stuff. So it's going to be amazing. All right, um, that's all I got. But thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, let's see how we're doing for time and if I should kick you all out. It is 5.22, uh, three more minutes. <laughs> all right, we're going to finish up. Uh, I would like to thank everyone for coming out to opening ceremonies. It's going to be awesome this week. And if it's not, you get to tell us about it at the feedback panel on Sunday. If it was awesome, tell us that as well. Staff always loves to hear encouragement, but we also want to hear the bad stuff. We're looking to improve the show every year. So... I hope you guys have an excellent weekend, and I'm out. I just want to say that this Dodger Critic did the best review of all time. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.